Okay, this is the first video on graphing absolute value functions. Uh, the whole key to uh, graphing absolute value functions is making sure that you choose enough points and uh, the correct points. Uh, if you, know, it's, it's kind of like graphing a linear equation. We're going to pick some values for x, get our y values, and plot the points. Well, let's make up. Let's make out our xy table, and let's choose some values for x. So let's just suppose we choose 0, 1, and 2. If I choose that, I get y equals the absolute value of 0, which equals 0. Here I get y equals the absolute value of 1, which is 1. And here y equals the absolute value of 2, which equals 2. Two. So I pick my x values, I plug them in for x and get my y values. Now, if we plot these points 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 2, let's come over here and plot them. We've got 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 2. And notice if I connect these points, it gives me a line. And well, what do we do here at zero zero? Do we keep going down or what? Well, we don't keep going down because an absolute value is V shaped. It's the shape of a V like this. Now I I chose three points and I could choose some more points like I could choose X equal three that would give me this point here. X equal 4, that would give me this point here. Okay? And I and it and the line would just keep going up. Well, when you're graphing the absolute value, you want to graph you want to pick points that will make the inside of the absolute value zero. That's going to be the first x value that I pick, is what makes inside here 0. Then, picking 1 and 2, that's fine. But I also need to pick some numbers on the left side of 0. In other words, if we have a number line here, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Okay, I chose the 1 and the 2, but I also want to choose some numbers over here on the left-hand side. So I'm going to choose negative 1 and negative 2. And so here I get y equals the absolute value of negative 1, which is positive 1. And then I get y equals the absolute value of negative 2, which equals positive 2. So now let's go over here and plot these two points, negative 1, 1, and negative 2, 1. So I plot negative 1, 1, and negative 2, 2. So my line comes here, and then it turns back up, and there's my V shape. So when we're graphing absolute value, the first number we pick, we want to pick what makes inside the absolute value zero. Then we want to pick two numbers larger than that and two numbers smaller. Okay, So this number here is makes inside absolute value zero. And then I pick two numbers larger and two numbers smaller. Let's take a look at another example. I have y equals absolute value of x minus 3. So I'm going to make up an xy table. Okay. The first number I'm going to pick is 3. The first number is inside 
absolute value zero. Then I want to pick two numbers larger than three so I can just pick four and five. Okay. So this is two numbers larger and then I want to pick two numbers smaller and I can pick one and two. So this is two numbers smaller. So if I look at it over here on the number line, see three that's what makes inside the absolute value zero, okay? And then I chose four and five, two numbers larger than that, and I chose one and two, two numbers smaller than that. So now we plug these numbers into our function. So here I get y equals the absolute value of three minus three which is the absolute value of zero, which equals zero. And then y equals the absolute value of four minus three, which equals the absolute value of one, which is one. And so on, I can, you, you just plug them in. Here we would get two, and then here we have y equals absolute value of one minus three, which equals absolute value of negative two, which equals a positive two. And then if we plug the two in, we would get one as an answer. So now I want to come over here and plot, plot my points three, zero. So there's three, zero. And then I plot the point four, one and five, two. So I plot four, one and five two and then I'm going to plot the point one two and two one so I plot one two and two one and then I can uh, the line's not very straight but the line should connect through the points and there's my graph. Uh, this is the first video of graphing absolute value functions. I hope you'll watch the rest of them. I'll do some more examples. Uh, we'll show some absolute values going down and uh, I'll have some more examples of having a number outside the absolute value. Uh, I hope this has helped. Thanks.